welcome everyone to the soup bowl uh today is gonna be quite the adventure what we're gonna do is be coming up with scp backstories and stuff like that and we have a special uh guest today say hello special guest how's it going uh my name is jake uh i'm hello. brad's best friend i am lucas prandy's lover What we're going to be doing this time is we're going to split into three groups of two. Each group is going to write and illustrate their own SCP, and at the end we're going to have them judged by um by, by the judge. Uh <laughs> by the judge. <laughs> so, so by the judge. The council will decide your fate. So the teams are me and Jake, Luke and Curb, Fwefwe and Dust. So yes. everyone, let's move to our uh, rooms and get to work. Hi. Hi. Welcome. The time oh, has yeah. passed. Welcome, okay, let's let's get <laughs> shaved. Get out here. of the kitchen. Okay, I am yes. going to have to leave. I can't uh, sit here for much longer. I have to leave. And okay, leave. don't worry. I'll I'll do our full presentation. I totally won't okay. bash your. If he's not back by the time, I'm just gonna I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. What if we um? What if we like? <gasps> Shane. That was terrible timing. What if we just what left? Sake? I got on school. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> Shane, are you actually here, or are you just? Yes. Okay. I'm waiting for you guys. Okay. I was on phone with college people trying to make sure I had the financial aid stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, that's I unfortunate. I am very sorry. <laughs> I am very sorry for ringing you like fucking six times. <laughs> Who's starting? I am starting. Alright, everybody, <laughs> shut up. Item number SCP 5070. Maple. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures SCP 5070 should be stored in a basic animal pen with cardboard lining in the surrounding area. Should SCP 5070 breach containment, it can be reacquired by creating a lure using cheese. Upon getting close enough, it should be caught upon a regular net and stored in a cardboard box. Upon being placed into the box, its powers are dulled and it assumes the appearance of a common house cat. And then your nice, nice little picture there. <laughs> I don't fuck. Does that have dryer tits? Like the dryer hose? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's elephant Looks like a dryer hose. <laughs> Description. SCP-5070 is a mysterious creature about the size of a a house, uh, a fucking woodland common mouse. house cat. I can't read. No, no, and woodland mouse. Speak. Woodland mouse. Uh, and weighs about one one thousand kilograms. <laughs> oh, oh god, uh, that's a dense ass mouse. <laughs> it's a heavy boy. It also features basic forest <laughs> camouflage, uh, like all mouses have. Uh, consequently, SCP-5070 is native to Canada often seen roaming around in the nearby forestry. Upon being seen by, or upon seeing a native Canadian or person of Canadian descent, it will become aggressive and attack. It will attempt to Same steer though. the person's buttocks with its horn. <laughs> Maybe mentioning that it has a horn could have been put <laughs> in, in the there. picture. In anyway. the picture. But you gotta put it in the description! What if- Fuck you! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> it will then attempt to beat the person unconscious using its head or choke said person by filling their mouth with maple syrup. It is unknown where it acquires this syrup. Once its prey is incapacitated, it proceeds to plant a sacrum sapling within the person's brain cavity. Oh god. The first document sighting of SCP-57 was around the 11th century, around the time modern Canadian forestry companies were being set up. It seems to prey exclusively on Canadians, with any attempt to get it to attack anyone of different heritage being met with anywhere from dismissal to complete ignorance. It appears to be of human-level intelligence. However, any attempts to converse with SCP-5070 have failed. Indendum 5071. It has been discovered that there is an entire colony of SCP-5070 somewhere in Canada. Current efforts as of 2 2019 are led to believe that this nest is located in 
further instances of SCP-5070 are to be numbered accordingly. Object class updated to Euclid. The sad part about this is this sounds like... I, I, I used to moderate on the SCP forums. This sounds like 50 of the entries I've got. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Quality. This is the image. Uh, oh, very <laughs> nice. Well, that, I Where are you sending him? I can't see that. Hold on, let me. It's I gotta open soup, it in another thing. It's a, dear God, that's a crusty JPEG. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> SCP 420. They already have one of those, by the way. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Shut up. Finnegan. Shut up. Object class. You, you can't. You want to tell me, shut up? With <laughs> Just read it. Shut up. Special containment procedures. SCP-420 is to be kept in a humanoid containment chamber with no flammable materials. Flame retardant clothing is to be provided to SCP-420 daily. SCP-420 is to be given the basic human requirements for comfortable life. These being one, uh, one metal bed frame, the still one side, on one side a metal bucket beneath to catch falling wax. Uh -huh. The wax bucket is to be replaced every fourth regener regeneration slash liquefaction. Uh, cycles. Mental health checkup is to be administered at the request of SCP-420. To prevent further suicide attempts, SCP-420 is lactose intolerant and therefore uh, any requests for dairy products, cheese, toasties, chocolate milk, cake, including Kalmyk, etc., are to be refused. <laughs> SCP-420 is to be allowed one cheese toasty per cycle if good behavior is observed. Good boy points. SCP-420's <laughs> containment chamber must be cleared of all wax residue on a monthly <laughs> basis to avoid a wax buildup. Cannabis can be administered to SCP-420 on request during the liquefaction period. This is to be limited to 5 grams yeah, yeah, per yeah. Maximum, maximum cycle. What an omega ch <laughs> <laughs> okay, <that's laughs> Description. SCP-420 is a human, humanoid <laughs> entity, which is by all accounts human, except for its single anom anon anom anomaly. I can't trait. spell. Okay, I cannot I spell. There it's, are so a, many spelling mistakes in this. It's, I'm sorry. It's, it's all good. I'm, <laughs> I'm sweeping over them for the most part. SCP-420 has a 4.5-inch wax candle. It sticks protruding from where the eye sockets would normally be. Is <laughs> Placed on a human, SCP-420 is in a state of constant agony <laughs> from the wax candlesticks constantly melting due to an un un due to an unextinguishable flame on the end of the wick of the candlestick. The sticks take approximately one seven-day week to fully liquefy. After the seven-day liquefaction period has passed, uh, SCP-420's candlesticks will extinguish for 12 to 14 hours. In this time, the wax candlesticks will regenerate through anomalous means. This is the only time SCP-420 is not in agony. The wax from SCP-420's eyes will remain on the floor even after the regeneration process has passed. The atoms making up the new wax are not derived from any outside source. This means that SCP-420 is creating matter from, noth uh, from nothing breaking the second law of thermodynamics. The wax residue is known as SCP-420-A. This has led to researchers attempting to find a way to recycle this matter for human benefit. SCP-420 has been known to use cannabis as a coping mechanism for the agony felt during the liquefaction period. This has led to several cool. health issues regarding the lungs of the subject. Event Log. Incident SCP-420-1. SCP-420 was removed from containment and brought on a guided tour of the facility. During his tour, SCP-420 came into contact with a wooden table in the staff break room. This led to a fire that engulfed the entire wing of the facility and evacuation procedures were engaged. This led to the escape of 21 SCPs, two of which were Keter class. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you know what? Despite the spelling mistakes, this one is very much in the SCP style. Yes. It is very yeah. good. <laughs> we win. Me and Brad have the dub. Confidence is key. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Let's they, they see if they can wow me. I'm just, I'm waiting for it. Oh my god, real, I have to do this from screenshots. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I gotta tilt my head to see the. Uh, it's a beam. Oh Christ. It's the. It's the oh, oh. Uh, mm. Item number sixty nine forty two. Jack's magic beans. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. All 
all six uh, <clears throat> all 6942 specimens i can't are to be write kept i'm in, sorry it's all good are to be kept locked in a secure storage vault at all times and may only be accessed by level three researchers or higher 64 uh, 6942 may only be tested on d-class personnel with approval from level four researchers SCP-6942-3 is to be massaged by T-Class personnel wearing protective gear every 12 hours to prevent unrest in the rest of 6942 specimens. Object Description SCP-6942 is the classification for multiple <laughs> specimens that are found in a can of Green Giant brand green beans. The specimen Thank you. <laughs> located in superior as follows SCP-6942-1 uh, said is a seemingly normal looking green bean however when digested it rapidly shoots out other beans as of, by as of yet unknown methods these replicants will quickly fill up the victim's body to the point of nearly bursting oh god it's an inflation bean <laughs> after which we'll take no. the, uh, the host body and bring it to uh, 6942-3 to pleasure it. Oh, it is it is inflation. Oh, no. 6942-3 is pleased. The beans will erupt from the host's body violently and repeat the process. Oh, God. SCP-6942-2 is a mutation of 6942-1 that occurs when 6942-3 becomes agitated or when a specimen goes through this mutation or grows multiple small vines ranging from four... Oh fuck, that's a typo. Or is supposed to be it. It grows multiple small vines ranging from four to twenty what? Oh, four, to, four 20 to twenty out of vines. the sides. Okay. Use them for locomotion. 6942-2 oh, will then seek out the nearest human, force itself into their body. If it cannot enter through the person's mouth, it will find other means of entering the victim's body. Oh, God. Oh, no. After it <laughs> enters, the same process as <laughs> 69 42 1 will occur. Uh, SCP-6942-3 is significantly larger than the rest of the 6942 specimens. 6942-3 is covered in multiple bumps and has a wrinkled texture. 6942-3 also Wrinkly. has a very def uh, defining growth uh, at the top of the specimen. This growth is yellow in color and takes the appearance of a king's crown. <laughs> the other <laughs> and constantly spews a vicious white, viscous white fluid at a steady pace. Uh, Skim contact with this fluid <laughs> has resulted in. Type. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't want to get in contact with my skim, bro. After being massaged, 6942 D will expel a large amount of this fluid uh, once before returning to a slow drip. I have a clear. I have a clear. Um, now, Shane, before you I, judge, I, I must. I must let you know. That our character was supposed to have a huge schlong. <laughs> Brad didn't like the idea, and he made me put a, put pants on him. In third place, the big loser. Oh. Simply out of sounding and reminding me of everything that I hated about oh, moderating no. on the wiki. Oh no, <laughs> the loser. Keeps, I'm sorry to say, it's 5070 Maple. It did not do it for me. Good Second job. place, the one that tickled my fancy. Oh, shit. What was done in the most lazy fucking way possible. I'm, I'm going to go with the Jizz Beans. Oh, okay. Yes! 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 In, first place, in first place, SCP That's 420. What talking about. Yes! That's the what you're talking Jake, about. Jake, virtual high five. Yes. Hell yeah. Virtual high five, dog. Hey, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, fuck okay. the rest of the competition. I'm going to spend my money yeah, in Vegas on hookers and coke. I, I'm not. I'm not as in love with SCP as people think. Like I put it out. Like I know a lot, but really, I just listen to the Vulcan a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's the Vulcan. He's actually kind of a dick. Oh, really? I know. I was on his server. I left it for a reason. Yeah, I was also on what? his server. 
And I was Wait, like, let's oh, hear yeah. some stories. Let's let's shit talk the Vulgate. No, I don't remember anything. Video. I don't oh, no, remember I, anything I just specific. I asked him for tips on long form narration, and he just kind of told me to fuck off. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> He literally just went, oh, another internet voice actor. Anyway, and then he fucking, like, kept talking to oh. someone else. I just, I literally, we were talking, having a normal conversation about SCP stuff. And then I was like, how do you do, like, your long-form narration stuff? Because I haven't practiced that. So how would you recommend practicing? And then he was just like, oh, you're just another voice actor. And then just fucking, like, Jesus Christ. Ooh. So to give this uh, video a moral... Uh, don't unsubscribe to the Vulcan and subscribe, and subscribe to the Soup Bowl instead. Bowl. And have a nice day.